Hello and welcome back to the Carl Lewis Academy YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. This is how you let the algorithm know so that other people who love this content or looking for content like what we have here can be able to see this content. So thank you very much for subscribing and always thank you for liking the video, sharing and leaving comments down below. We sincerely do appreciate all of those things. Without further ado, let's go into today's video. So I'm taking a different direction on the channel. And what I'm going to do is instead of doing videos on landers at the same time, Windows Server, I'm just going to focus on Windows Server for now, complete all of the videos in a particular certification track. And once I'm done, then I can come to creating landers video from start to end. And then maybe go to Azure video from start to end, Microsoft 365 from start to end, and so on and so forth. In the next tab, I'm going to focus on this certification called the Microsoft Satisfy Windows Server Hybrid Administrator Associate. When you read about this certification, it is the courseware is focused on Windows Server 2022. However, you are expected to already have experience with several 2012 or several 2016 or several 2019. Even if you don't have experience with those, I will make sure to walk you through everything that you need to know in order to pass this exam. In order to get satisfied as a hybrid administrator, you mm -hmm. need to pass two exams. The first exam is the AZ-800 and the second exam is the AZ-801. If I just scroll down on this Microsoft land page and you come to where you have two ways to prepare, when you click on instructor left, it tells you the name of each exam. So the AZ-800 is called Administering Windows Server Hybrid Core infrastructure and the AZ-801 is configuring Windows Server Hybrid Advanced Services. Those are the two exams that you will have to pass to be satisfied as a hybrid administrator. When you go down further on a, the instructor led, you will notice these two exams are here, AZ-800 and then AZ-801. Make sure to pick your country location to get the pricing for your location. I'm in Canada, so if I come to Canada, they will give me a different price. I think it's 140 US dollars, yes. For Canada, if someone's in the United States, it's 165 United States dollars. Someone in Liberia, it would be probably 80 US dollars or 83 US dollars. So if you are in South Africa, like I have some of my subscribers are in South Africa, it used to be 50 US dollars. Now it went up to 58 US dollars. So just make sure to pick the country that you are in and then you can click on schedule exam. So what I would do in the next video is walk you through how you could schedule an exam. The next thing I want to do is to click on self paced So self paced is the Microsoft learning path for this particular certification. So you will start first with deploy and manage identity infrastructure. So if you click on that topic, it's going to show me all of the modules. So it starts for, with an introduction to ADDS and then it goes on to manage and then implement group policy and then manage more advanced features of ADDS. And then goes down to implement identity with Windows Server, deploy Azure, IaaS, Active Directory, Domain Controller in Azure. Then I will just click on back and then it goes to the next path and then to the next one and the next one and it shows you everything that you need to know. The next thing I would say is with the hybrid administrator, what it does, it teaches you both Windows Server on-prem as well as Windows Server in Microsoft Cloud, which is Azure, and how to synchronize the two environments. So this will give you the best of both worlds, the cloud experience as well as the on-prem experience. I know that there are prerequisites for this course, right? But don't worry, 
I will take you through everything step by step. Because when you look at the prerequisite, it expects you to at least have a knowledge of Windows Server 2012 or Windows Server 2016. And then to know about a little bit of networking. So again, no worries. We will go through these modules step by step creating our videos. So I will follow the Microsoft learning path and create the videos based on the learning path. So the videos and the learning path will go hand in hand. So you can use the learning path as a supplementary material for the videos that we will be making in this new playlist. Okay, so again, don't worry. You will go through everything step by step. Now, my responsibility is to share with you my knowledge and experience with Windows Server. And then it is your responsibility to practice and, and get some hands-on experience on things that you'll be learning. So I highly recommend that you get yourself a laptop or even a desktop so that you can follow on and set up the labs and build all of the environment as you see in the video so that you can have hands-on experience. Whenever you encounter any problem during the lab, make sure to put a question on the particular video that you were following and doing the lab for, and that way we can be able to respond to it and share other resources and, or just answer the question and give you some additional links and website that you can just go to and read more about that. Okay, so I will be following the Microsoft Learn. So I recommend that you log into Microsoft Learn and start to read as well and follow along the, vi the video. So if I do a video on Active Directory Domain Services and talk about maybe the face more roles, I expect you to come to Microsoft Learn and come to this module and read about the face more roles and understand what they are because we will talk about it in the video. So this will just reinforce what you have learned from the video. So to log into the Microsoft Learn, you need a Hotmail account or a .live account or you need an Outlook account. Pretty much you need a Microsoft account. So any Microsoft account, even your Xbox account, you can even use it to log in. So with that being said, that brings an end to this video. It's just an introduction to what we will be doing on the channel. Right now out there, Microsoft has released Windows Server 2025. Last year, I did some videos on it. Whatever knowledge you acquire from this set of videos on Windows Server 2022, all of those knowledge can be transferred to Windows Server 2025. Even though we'll be using Windows Server 2022 in this video, but I guarantee you probably 90% of everything you'll learn from here, they will still be applicable on Windows Server 2025. And even those knowledge are also applicable on Server 2019, Server 2016, and Server 2012. So you just need to learn one Windows Server very well and you pretty much know how to use the rest of it, except for the new features that and those things you can just learn them in the blink of an eye. Okay, so without further ado, this brings an end to this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Share this video with someone who will find it useful. But without further ado, I will see you in the very next video. Bye.